and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, as I promised a couple of months ago, during the summer holidays, we will be doing some house improvement and we have just completed doing our uh, clock room and the bathroom. It is the only family uh, bathroom that we have in this house. So we actually took a longer time than we had planned because uh, we had to keep uh, moving things back and forth because we still needed to use uh, the facilities but it is all done it is beautiful and I know you're going to love it it is a DIY project from start to finish it took a couple of months but uh, we were doing them uh, doing it in our own spare time much of it was done by my husband but I helped where I can like painting and doing little bits where I am not very um, handicapped but everything turned out absolutely perfect and I'm sure you're going to love it so I'm sure you um, after you've watched it I will show you wait until the end to see the results and make sure if you like give us a thumbs up a like and even consider subscribing because uh, in coming uh, months, I will also be doing uh, kitchen renovation. I will be doing my pantry and all these things. I am uh, willing to share with you my journey. So come along and see how we did it.
as you can see since my husband uh, has never done um, DIY project which involves uh, putting tiles on the floor and the walls so he had to use actually the physical measurements to make sure that he was not over ordering the tiles but he actually ended up uh, over ordering anyway uh, but as I said uh, when you're doing a DIY project if you have um, some skills you can be able to easily transfer the skills that you have and like my husband he watched a lot of YouTube uh, tutorials on how to tile and how to uh, remove a toilet and install another one and uh, yeah there is so much information out there you can be able to do it if you put yourself um, around to do it Uh, as you can see my husband is measuring the space uh, where we will be putting back our original uh, bathtub we did not buy a new one so we used uh, whatever we had because it was still in good working order so uh, for example when you're doing a DIY renovation um, and you want to upgrade I would advise just like us if you are doing everything on a budget uh, the best thing you can do is just look for things that you can still use, recycle and upgrade and um, that way you will be saving quite a lot of money. So for us we actually uh, decided to keep the bathtub which uh, is still usable and uh, a few things we had to buy, new stuff, we, we, we bought a new toilet, we bought um, new tops uh, we added um, we bought a new uh, bathroom sink which has um, a little bit of storage so that was extra but it's good extras because we are um, adding storage into the bathroom
uh, because the bathroom floors and actually the walls they were very um, crooked so my husband decided uh, right where the bathtub uh, floor was uh, situated he decided to uh, make that floor even that's why you can see he's put in some cement and uh, when he also was doing the walls they were pretty crooked so he had to also uh, do a little bit of DIY to uh, make sure that the walls were all even because at the end of the day that made uh, putting the tiles quite difficult because he had to use uh, far much more uh, cement and glue than he would have wanted but at the end of the day you do not know what surprises that will come along when you're doing diy so yeah i would say uh, doing a bathroom uh, diy project is not for the faint-hearted but as i said uh, the results after you've uh, done a little bit of sweating and tears you will end up having um, a good result so yeah it was worth it even though yeah part of it was my husband getting really upset uh, over how and even the walls were And by the way, ours was a very simple uh, DIY project that was budget friendly. Uh, all the materials and um, the other things that we needed all together, we actually ended up spending less than a thousand pounds. It was uh, roughly around 950, uh, 960 pounds that was spent. Uh, throughout that renovation so yeah if you're looking for a budget friendly um, video uh, this is one of them so we were shopping around looking for things on the internet um, going and looking for different um, if it's tiles which look similar um, some which are expensive but looking at others which are similar and uh, we ended up getting very uh, nice looking tiles without having to spend too much on them.
Uh, I've got to say that I really admire my husband because it was his first time to do um, to work with tiles and even though he likes a lot of DIY projects he uh, has a lot of tools so uh, some of the tools that he has uh, he could be able to just buy a few things which are able to is like a multi-tool kind of uh, um, power tool that you can uh, use with different uh, power tools interchangeably so uh, for people who uh, have DIY uh, tools uh, it's easier because it means you're not spending so much money uh, just to do a one of DIY project but if you're a DIYer then it means that uh, the tools that you have that you can buy for doing the bathroom you can use it for doing other projects around the house or uh, at the back at the backyard or in the garden so in that sense uh, I could say that a lot of things that my husband has uh, he didn't have to buy at, uh, so many tools uh, but yeah I have to admire him because it took a lot of time to cut all those little uh, pieces of, ti of, of tiles just um, for additions like on the scuttings rather than using wood we decided to use the same flooring and put it uh, as part of the scuttings which I think uh, they are far much better and you know uh, with time they are not going to expand due to uh, moisture. Uh, another thing that my husband uh, managed to do is in the toilet, the clock room, uh, he did manage to find a little bit of a um, storage shelf uh, whereby you can just put a few things uh, because the, that room is really squeezed. And on top of uh, the toilet, there is also storage area which he had put uh, some time before. It's not new. But uh, yeah, um, looking at it, I can see it was a good decision that time when he decided to add in some um, cupboard up on top of the, of the toilet. And uh, it's really resourceful because it's extra storage for all the toiletries and laundry stuff. And uh, yeah, it's proven to be quite useful. And at the end of the day, you are not sitting in the toilet for uh, more than necessary so uh, while it's still a toilet but it's also a nice little storage area where I can be able to put my laundry stuff because I do not have uh, a laundry room so uh, if you do not have a big space it's always uh, good to come up with with a sorry solution like uh, what my husband has managed to do.
Uh, we also decided to recycle and reuse our toilet and bathroom doors. Uh, but the one thing that we upgraded is the door. Uh, we put in some ventilation um, gaps. So uh, as you can see, my husband is cutting and uh, we bought some. Uh, they are from uh, mainland Europe. Uh, some ventilation gaps, which uh, is an easy solution if you are having, um, you're thinking of keeping your bathroom uh, dry and uh, yeah especially during the winter months where it's quite cold and uh, you want to keep uh, your bathroom and your toilet uh, dry and uh, not uh, end up getting uh, moldy or dampness on the walls so yeah there is always good ideas and tips uh, to consider when you are doing uh, either an upgrade or a, a renovation or a DIY so yeah there is so much that you can learn from this video so I am sure um, you'll find this useful
Uh, so guys, do remember to subscribe, uh, leave a comment, a like. Uh, this really helps my videos to be um, recommended or suggested by YouTube and uh, we can keep this going. So thank you, thank you very much for watching and bye.